Identifying bees can be hard. They are an extremely diverse group of insects, with almost 600 different species found in North Carolina alone, over 4,000 in North America, and over 20,000 worldwide. And these species come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and lifestyles. Many of the distinguishing characteristics can only be seen while looking at a specimen under a microscope. But learning a bee's identity will tell you valuable information, such as where it lives, what it eats, if its populations are in trouble, and what you can do to help. Luckily, there are a few tips and tricks you can use if you happen upon a bee in the field. The first is distinguishing if the insect you are looking at is indeed a bee. Wasps and flies are often and easily confused for bees, but there are key characteristics to look for. First, look at the wings. Flies have two wings, while bees and wasps have four wings. Second, look at the face. Flies have large eyes that take up most of their face, and small to seemingly no antenna. Bees have smaller eyes with large elbowed antenna. And third, look at the body shape. Wasps are hunters, and so are streamlined and more narrow-bodied. Flies are round-bodied with little distinction between their body parts. Bees also have round bodies, but because they collect pollen will be the hairiest of the three. You can also use behavior to help identify what insect you're looking at. Since wasps are hunters, they will more often be found flying close to the ground in search of other insects. Flies visit flowers mainly for nectar and so won't be seen actively collecting pollen. Bees visit flowers for both nectar and pollen and so could be seen actively collecting pollen on a flower. Once you've identified that it is a bee, there are a few more key characteristics to look for to help you identify the group of bee you're looking at. First is time of year. Different species of bees are active at different times of the year depending on their specific life cycle. Second is the size of the bee. Bees emerge fully grown as adults, and so if you see a small bee, that's because it's a small species. Third is where that bee lives if you happen to see its nest. The majority of bee species live underground, about 70% of all species worldwide. Others live in stems, like leafcutter bees and mason bees. Some live in wood, like carpenter bees, and a few live in cavities, such as bumblebees and honeybees. And lastly is identifying where on its body a bee carries pollen. The majority of bee species carry pollen on their hind leg. Because of this, the hind legs of these species often look extremely fluffy. A few species, bumblebees and honeybees, also carry pollen on their hind legs, but they carry it in tightly packed pollen balls. This can be an extremely useful tip to use, as many species can resemble each other. But even if you see a species that might look like a bumblebee, if you notice that it is not carrying pollen in a pollen ball, it cannot be a bumblebee. And lastly, some species like mason bees and leafcutter bees carry pollen on the underside of their belly. If you'd like to learn more about identification, you can check out the book that Elsa Youngstead and I recently published together through NCSU Extension called The Bees of North Carolina, an Identification Guide.